big wood energy. Ew, what is that? I don't know. Is that human <laughs> hair? Uh, what is that? What is that over there? On the ceiling? What in the hell? Is that a blue light? A this is like a light. mood light? Stop. Okay, so I guess we should probably back it up for a minute. This is me on April 1st, when my husband sat me down at our house in LA and told me he had something to tell me. Oh, and in case you're new here, hi, I'm Joslyn, and this is my husband, Chris. Together we renovate, remodel, decorate, and flip houses, and we even have a super cute Airbnb called Greasy Resorts. And now, back to April 1st. Of course, I thought this was going to be a joke because duh, April 1st is April Fool's Day. So before I toss to this clip, will you please, for the love of all that is good in this world, like this video and leave a comment because after you see what you are about to see, you're just gonna feel all kinds of stressed for me. Okay, buckle up and roll the clip. I don't even know where to start. So today, as my husband is filming me right now, it's April 1st, 2022, widely known as April Fool's Day. So imagine my surprise when homeboy over here just announces to me that he bought a million dollar house, first thing that should be a joke, off of a coin flip, let's unpack that, and it closes escrow in one week. I think I might throw up, I don't know. Can you just unpack this whole coin flipping thing for me, please? Also, just to clarify, this is not a April Fool's joke. It's not an April Fool's joke. You bought a million dollar house on a coin flip. So basically, our partner, Pony, was on the phone with me. He went to the house. He's like, all right, I love this house. It's in an amazing neighborhood. We gotta get it. And then he's like, but there's this other guy that wants to buy it too. And the company that was that we were buying it from, it's called The Wholesaler. They're like, we need to make this fair. You both want the property so we're gonna flip a coin to get it is this 1887 there's gotta be a different way there's gotta be a different way than a coin flip so what happened so i was on the phone with him he's like i'm going to this draw i'm like what a draw are you like pulling your guns out and i hear the guy in the background all right heads or tails and i'm like wait what we're flipping a coin for this tony says tails without skipping a beat and then it's silent for like two seconds and then I hear cheering. There was like a crowd there or something. I didn't know who won. And then Tony said, Tails never fails. And we got the house. I don't even know what to say. And then I had to call my wife and do a high pitched voice and say, <laughs> This is the most expensive project we've ever done. Yeah. Also, no clue where the money is coming from because I don't know. Well, and the th crazy part is we had to give them $10,000 within one hour of getting the house. Otherwise, we lost it. So Go we gave them $10,000 that we won't get back if we back out of this deal. Does anyone else feel like maybe they're gonna throw up? I feel a little sick. But I'm actually really, it's a mixture of sick and excited because I get to unleash my wife's design side on this one like we've never done before. You're just trying to turn me on right now. This, like, she has to get real with this design. We In can't just we do the basic, like, standard what we always do. So you better start watching some HGTV for ideas. <laughs> I honestly, I'm excited. I'm really excited because we've been doing like a very specific type of home for the last few years and I feel good about it, but I'm excited to like level up. I just don't understand why it happened with the coin toss. Tails never fails, like cries so before guys. What else are we like basing our livelihood on? I don't know, but the crazy part is I would have chosen heads, so we would have not gotten it. Heads or deads? We, everyone knows that. How is this real? Today is April 12th, which according to my calculation, exactly 12 days ago, on April 1st, AKA April Fool's Day, my husband, I thought, was playing a trick on me. He was not. This man right here bought another house, sight unseen on a coin toss, and yes, I did say coin toss, and right now, 12 days later, we are pulling up to the house that we now own. <laughs> Here's the fun thing though, typically Chris brings me to these projects that he's purchased, that he's seen, and that I've never seen. But today, for the first time ever, we're gonna walk through this house that we've already purchased, having neither of us ever seen it. How are you feeling now that the shoe is on your foot, sir? <sighs> Well, I don't know. It's an emotional day for me. I just saw the front of one of our houses ripped off and now we're at a house sight unseen that we purchased, but it's a really cute street. So let's get ready to check it. It better be more than cute. This house costs 
us how much again? Over a million dollars. I don't know. Who are we? What are we doing? Let's just I don't I don't have words. Let's right go now. look at this place. What do you think? This is us. This house is really cute. So this is in North Central Corridor in Phoenix, and it's in a little pocket of town that's called Between the Sevens, between 7th Street and 7th Avenue. It's a really nice sweet spot where everyone wants to be because there's tons of bars and restaurants and shopping, everything you could ever ask for. Look how cute this street is. Birds chirping, big, big mature trees. I'm feeling it. How many square feet is this house? You guys, this house, from where I am on the outside, looks huge. I think it is gonna be pretty big. <laughs> I'm a little nervous to go inside because I don't know what to expect. There was some nefarious stuff that went on here, I think. Like what? There's a water bed in the main bathroom. Wait, there's a water a bed? on the ceiling. There's a water bed in the bathroom? Yeah, and there's a hole in the ground, like the jacuzzi in the middle of the bathroom. And there's mirrors, I heard, on the ceiling above the water bed. So when you say nefarious activities, you actually mean... Some weird S. <laughs> Adult film stuff? Okay, here we are, we're inside! My apologies, this video tour might be a little bit dark because I don't think there's actually electricity hooked up or turned on inside the house right now. But the first thing I noticed is that part of the house has already been demoed which I know sounds really weird and kind of is, but probably what happened is another investor was working on this project and decided they didn't want to do it anymore. So they decided to sell it, but lucky for us, a lot of the demo's already been done, which means a lot of money is going to be saved. And whoa, this is huge. Check this out, this is promising. So first thing you see when you walk in, the agent must have put this here, the average price per square foot for the neighborhood is 473. And look, there's some like sales to like kind of give some inspiration on what we could be like. But babe, what in the world? Look at these beams. Look at this fireplace and a little window seat area. I hate the windows, but like, I like the idea. Okay, okay, I'm working with it. I'm liking it. Are you vibing? I am vibing with this. You, you know got what a I'm little. Hoping for a big beam to like be running this whole wall. I mean, ideally, I think we just get rid of all of this and beam the whole ce ceiling, but we obviously have no idea what's even going on yet. Is this the kitchen? <laughs> small kitchen for such a big house but watch out for cobwebs definitely super outdated but not in like terrible shape but i'm assuming all of this is gonna go right is that a skylight that's where we came in front door so there's a lot of storage here in this part of the house let's keep going this is currently laundry currently laundry all right let's go look at the bedrooms Lots of storage right off the front door. Now these are the three other bedrooms besides the primary, the owner's suite. These are huge bedrooms. Carpet, which definitely has definitely to go. Keeping. Ew, what is that? I don't know. Is, is that, that human that hair? hair? Come on. Oh gosh, that's so gnarly. <laughs> Definitely not the worst we've ever seen. Well, I hope not. This is a four bedroom house. So these three bedrooms that are not the owner's suite are on like one wing of the house. And then the owner's suite, which we've not seen, but that Chris was talking about earlier, is on the other side of the house. This one has a little Jack and Jill. These two bedrooms share this bathroom. Okay. Someone did a demo for us. That's actually, I, I like to see that. That saves so much money. Explain Jack and Jill someone bathroom. did this shower already. Can we salvage this or is this not really good enough for you? I mean, I don't really think it's gonna go with the aesthetic of the house, but explain Jack and Jill bathroom. Just one, two bedrooms, chair, one bathroom. So like one for Jack, one for Jill. One for Jack. I don't know why they don't have the same room if they live together. I don't understand why this wouldn't have two sinks. This is the other bedroom. Ooh, that peeks out to the backyard. Oh my gosh, I love. I know I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm a little 
worried. Like a lot of the windows here are open. I feel like someone could someone easily made, break in. Someone trying to break in. I mean, there's probably someone in here right now. I shouldn't say that. That's like a little scary. Okay, let's keep going. So this is the guest bathroom. This is the funniest vanity ever. Look at one sink at the very end. But I do like these art windows. I love that. Or the, I do love these arch mirrors. I wish I could kind of see more of what was going on. There's lights under there. Oh, that's kind of weird. It's weird how it's like hollow, you know? But the concept is okay. Like if we built it out like that, you know? Be more solid. Okay, Look I think. Look at these, babe. How cool are these old school retros? I mean, I wish I could see, but it's literally pitch black. And the only thing I'm like digging right here is the fact that there's a Vizzy. Is that a window? Where's that window going? See, this kind of stuff I hate. What is that? Windows to storage rooms. Oh no, I'm no. Not a fan. No, 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 no. We need to like open this up, right? Absolutely. We're back in the kitchen, and this is where things start to get really confusing for me. So if you guys remember, we came from this room, that's where the living room was, and I'm assuming this was used as dining space. Maybe, or maybe like a library or like a sitting room, I don't know. Yeah. And then, directly off of the kitchen, you come into this room. Which, you know what? I think this must have been the dining room. This would make sense as a dining room. Don't you love dining room that has carpet in it? No, I don't. This might be an unpopular opinion or a hot take, but I don't like carpet anywhere. I barely like to have rugs because I constantly think of it absorbing like dirt and old skin, like human hair and like dead animals and like people's toenails and stuff. What's this little room? This is a bathroom. So this is a really weird bathroom with a closet. What's back there? It's a closet. That's odd. Okay. This just feels like a really weird place to have a bathroom because it's really going to be hard to access. If we did end up using this as the dining area, you have to like go around the whole table to get to the toilet and that just feels odd. So let's keep going. I love this. French doors right here that lead out to the backyard, which is really, really big. How it's like elevated. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, this is odd. odd. Like, we look down here. Odd to like. It's elevated outside, which to me is concerning because that means it's the potential for water to get yeah, outside. It's really weird. And then this, what is this? There's like a little fun bar. This is almost like a game room or something, maybe, perhaps. Wide open windows, babe. That's not good. This means people could easily be breaking in. Look, that window's open. That's Over there, so this window's small. open. Is there a way to even shut it? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's like jammed. Great, never mind. Oh yeah, look at those muscles. Work! I see why no one locked it. It's like... Well now we're probably not gonna ever be able to get it open again. So this room is just a mystery room. This is like the bonus room. I think this could be family room. I like these yellow windows. They're so mid cinch. <sighs> Oh, Tony, our partner's calling. Our partner is calling, our partner who was here for the What's coin flip. Up? So I'm trying to think primarily of how we add value to this house. And I'm asking myself whether or not it would make sense for us to turn this room into like a family room or maybe like a screening room or something like that. Or does it make sense to turn this into another bedroom? What I do know for a fact is that I'm not happy with the laundry room that I currently saw for a house this size at least. And I also don't like that bathroom placement. So Already in my mind, I'm thinking of that weird bathroom that we saw off of the dining room. Maybe turning that into a significantly larger laundry room and then relocating a bathroom somewhere over here in this space. Feels like it might make more sense if we can get water over here. Okay, so it's time. It's time for you to show me this weird room that you keep teasing me with where you say like adult activities are taking place. Let's go look at the piece de resistance. <laughs> We're heading into the primary bedroom. Oh, wow. This is a mood. This is moody. This is a wooden chamber. Oh, what's this? Oh, are these windows that are leading out to this little patio, this little front patio area? Babe, how cool would it be to turn these into French doors? What do you do to open these? You get rid of them. How cool would it be to turn these into like a slider or French doors to a private front patio? 
Also love that the fireplace is exposed inside of the primary bedroom. Could we potentially open up the fireplace on the side so that you got fireplace access from inside the primary bedroom? Like you're over here laying in your king size bed and then you're looking at a fire. And then over here, we have French doors out to a private patio just for the primary bedroom. What do you think? I think this is the biggest bedroom we've ever been in in project wise. And house. This bedroom is bigger than our entire condo. But where's the weird part? You keep telling me there's like a water bed or mirrors. What? Very dark. But you know what? We scored with these high beam ceilings, huh? Yeah, we did. Okay, so. All right, so you got a closet space for Jack and Jill. But two closets. in the ground. Oh, that's cool. So we have two walk-in closets, which in a house like this is actually super important. What's going on in this closet? Can you open it? I just want to make sure like- No one's in here? No one's in here. Look at all this like drawer paper from the 70s. Oh wow, that's wild. Okay. Okay, and then we- to not fall into this pit in the middle of what? the- What? What are you talking about? Um, what is that? I- Is this legal? No idea. Is that a bathtub? Is that a jacuzzi? It's How did no one here. fall in here? How Are you kidding me? How can you just have live in this with this in here your whole life? This feels like very, 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 very dangerous. What is that over there? The thing I've been telling you about. Oh my gosh, all this along. is what the actual wall F is this. Room with mirrors on all the walls and ceilings. Okay. Oh, on the ceiling? What in the hell? Is that a blue light? This a is like a light. mood light. Stop. It just got weird in this place. Look at this. I don't even want to touch oh it. Oh my lord. And then what is this? Just like where you prep yourself? I'm actually really, really scared I'm going to fall inside this. Okay, this is dangerous. And then you have this situation over here. And then what's in here? <laughs> A grand shower. Literally the tiniest shower I've ever seen in my life. Tiniest shower for the biggest bedroom. But I mean, hey, at least you have this in ground like death trap Soaking of tub a swimming of a pool. Pit. And it's and like eight feet deep. Not only that, at least you have your mirrored ceilings over your water bed inside of your bathroom. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's right. only like one thing people could have been doing here. Yeah. This feels crazy. This whole wall, we gotta add this all together. I'll take this wall out, combine it with the water bed. Okay, babe, this looks like Blair Witch Project. Well, our contractor's about to get here, so he's pulling up right now. What's on the other side of that window is my question. We'll have to go around, it's outside. Are you sure? Well. No, but it looks like it. This bathroom is huge. But if you could take out this whole wall and make it an entire like soaking room. Oh yeah, this needs, we're definitely gonna do an over the top bathroom. This I gotta get out of here, it's grossing me out. Okay, let's rewind here. We got the house for $1,025,000. And we figured that at the very least, our remodel budget would be around $200,000. Although let's be real, I know it's gonna be a lot more, but if we can really turn this house into a luxury home, we might be able to list it for 1.8 million, which would mean our profits after the cost of holding the house, paying the mortgage, blah, 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 would be around $400,000 split between us and our partners. So I mean, hell, Hello, Dallas Signs. First things first though, we found a great contractor who really helped us figure out what exactly we could and couldn't do with this house. And guess what friends, our dreams for a double island kitchen and a gorgeous primary suite with the bathroom straight from heaven above were a go. A few of our ideas weren't possible, but we were still freaking out with excitement. Also slightly stressed, uh, translation very stressed because um, did you hear the whole thing about this place costing over a million bucks? Yeah. Dad, look at that. Craftsmanship. What's up? Hey, I'm working here. Can you leave me alone? We are out here. Peak of summer. This is a terrible, terrible idea. I have no idea how we talked Bill into coming here. He's speechless, guys. First time ever. What are you doing exactly? My mom told you to come out here. So we had to call on the big guns because as Chris said, we are swinging for the fences with this house. So my dad is out here replacing a bunch of brick. Walk me through it. Well, sometimes brick, sometimes they just get indented. Like water hits them for a long time and it causes them to become dished in. Oh, like the Grand Canyon. 
like how the Grand Canyon River became a canyon. So like I said, what are you saying? Oh, like like this one. There's one over here. I see what you're saying. Okay, the so water hits it for a long time. Chisel them out. Chisel them out. Chisel all the concrete out. Put concrete in the hole. Set a new brick in there. Clean it all up. And then right here is what you got. Look at how gorgeous that is. What are you naming that guy? This one right here? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not thinking about that. What pops in here? Old Red. Old Red. That's Old cute. Red. That's a, it rolls right off the tip of Old your tongue. Red. What do you think about this house? I think it's great. I think it's got a lot of potential. It's like any other house that's been built a long time ago and not given much love. You guys get to come in and give it a lot of love and it'll be great when you're done, but you have a lot of work. I'm proud of you because this is a big, this is a big challenge. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's got a lot of potential. I can say it, I think it's going to be really, really good. Just you can't be afraid to do the work, which you guys are. So. Your mouth to God. There's, oh my gosh, Dad, look. Look, look at this. Our name is on this house. David. Well, that's still kind of one of my names. Depends on if I'm in a fight with my husband or not. What last name I get. <laughs> Final brick of the day. If you want me to do it. Give a look to anybody who uh, watches the whole day and then they come up at like the very last minute and go, hey, let me help you with this last one. Do you want me to spot you? I'll spot you. Know, you. What I'd like you to do, what I need for you to do is go in the house and get this stuff for me. Remember on April Fool's Day when you bought a house on a coin toss and I thought it was a joke? April Fools, just kidding, <laughs> it's not April Fools. Well friends, it is June 8th, 2022, and we are headed back to the coin toss house because progress has finally been made. For this house, we have about a million people working on it. Teams of engineers, contractors, porta potty people, <laughs> you freaking name it. They're at this house, and I'm saying that at this point, conservatively, the budget is $250,000 yeah. for the renovation. Because I honestly think it's gonna go over. I, I, yeah. But we're gonna go see the house. I haven't seen it in a very long time. We've been working on it remotely, or I've been working on it remotely. What can I anticipate? Wood, big wood. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. From the front, the house looks pretty much the same, pretty but the same. what do I see? A new roof, which costs how much money? 23K. Wow. Just like that. Babe, take me inside. Show me that big wood. Ready for big wood? I was this born is, ready for big This is big, big wood, wood energy today. Wow, this is unbelievable how big this room feels. It already felt big, but now it feels huge. So we're gonna be doing double island, an island here, and then an island right next to it. This is gonna be like a fancy mm -hmm. AF kitchen. We're even gonna have a pot filler, you guys. If that doesn't This is scream, an adult kitchen. Can we look around the rest of the place? What's going on with the adult film bathroom? We've just got some demo happening in here. Oh, here, and Chris is providing lighting because there is no we light. Got cans hanging out of the wall. We have the can lighting going in. You're gonna love this piece de resistance. Let me flip this thing. Okay, wow. How big that shower is gonna be. So the bathtub is gone. <laughs> the black light is gone. This bathroom was so bad. This is gonna be the shower, two shower heads. And then over here, big bathtub. This shower is huge. This is like the size of our condo. Babe, tell them what's going over here. Laundry. Private laundry. Huge vanity right here. Little toilet closet so you can do your business in privacy. Closet for her, closet for him. Massive bedroom. This is the bathtub. It's a big tub actually. You think I could get in it right now? No, well, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> What's that? That is a massive wood. Big wood energy. We gotta figure out this backyard. It's looking kind of bleak, babe. These logs, I mean, it looks kind of sad. Look, the UIC unit. Oh, how much was this? 12 grand. Look 12 grand! It cost $12,000. So roof, 23,000. AC, Whoa, big wood. 35. How much was the big wood? Thousands. How much have we spent already? Electric was 25 grand, roof was 23 grand. Just too much money. That's just like three things too. <laughs> this was $700. We had to fill in a window here. Oh my gosh, babe. Okay, I'm gonna say it. You're gonna 
getting really good at this whole we're designing luxury home thing. <laughs> I learned from you, you learn from we. Do you know what comes naturally to us? Flow. Spending money. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this video right here and next time, hopefully next time you guys see this place, it will be finished and maybe on the market. Fun fact, we have friends that might be buying this house, so we kind of might be doing this for a client at this awesome. point. I mean, that's the dream really, is to just do this for people that we love. So yeah, wish us luck and please watch this video so that we can pay for this house. Goodbye.